egg makes it bouncy and it easier for light to pass through the egg. <laughs> Seth, what is that? It's a raw egg. What? It's a raw bounty egg and we're gonna make it in today's experiment. Yay! Let's get started. So for the glowing bounty egg, we're gonna need three glasses. Vinegar. Spatula. Starting wood. Three raw eggs. Food coloring. And a flashlight. First, we're going to pour the vinegar into three of the glasses. Till about halfway. Then we're gonna take the food color. Looks like red. Oh, oh it's yeah, brown. It's brown. And then, then we're gonna start. Yeah, and then I'm gonna add the red, orange. I'm not sure what this is. Yeah, ah, that's orange. I was right. Now we're gonna mix. And we're gonna leave this one without any food color. Yes. Now we're gonna add the eggs into the jars and fully submerge the egg in the vinegar. Yeah. Oh, yes. And yeah, now we're gonna wait at least 24 hours. You can leave it in for longer and it'll get bouncier, but we're gonna wait at least 24 hours and we'll get back to you when it's done. for long hours and now we're going to see the end result. So we're gonna pour out the glasses. Yeah, be careful with the Ooh. Oh my god. And there's the egg. Oh, Ooh, it's so slippery. So we're gonna uh, take out the other egg. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> here, here. I don't like it. And then now the Oh brown. my gosh. And here is the end result. We have a clear egg, a red egg, and a brown egg. Brown egg. Oh! Oh no! Oh! Oh, oh no! Oh. Yeah, that's one of the things that will happen. So, um, <laughs> that's why we did three, because they're very squishy and break very easily. So, we're gonna take a torch and put it under. And I did not wash this correctly, so it's not showing anything. Uh, okay, Lucky for you, I always keep it there. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky I keep an egg in my pocket. Okay. So I'm just gonna wash this one. The light is shining through the egg and it makes the egg glow and it's really cool. And let's test okay. it with, the, oh yeah. Try this one. So, um, now that there's a flashing light, looks like a flashing light, but it's just an egg. And then there's a red light that try makes it kind of red. And then the stable light. So Seth, how does this work? The vinegar dissolves the eggshell and the egg expands slightly because the membrane is semi-permeable. Which means it allows fluid to pass through it, a process called osmosis. The increased fluid inside the egg makes it bouncy and it easier for light to pass through the egg. <laughs> we really, really, really love doing this experiment. Oh, you brought Mr. Bunny again. Yeah. Why? Because he's my pet and it's Easter. Well, as much as I love Mr. Bunny, you know he's not allowed to be in the lab. Come on, Seth, just this one. Okay, I guess. Today we're going to make bunny pencil holders. Let's get started. In this activity, we're going to be using paint, tissue roll, paintbrush, plate, googly eyes, scissors, glue and paper so the first thing is to take the paint our blue paint and put it on the paper plate the favorite color yeah that's that's enough now we're going to paint the uh, paper roll yeah the tissue roll mm -hmm. so you hold it i paint it okay now you're gonna make me get paint on my fingers no i'm not gonna paint your fingers Now I'm going to start cutting the bunny ears. Mm -hmm. So, what I'm gonna do is fold the paper in half, like so. And then I'm going to take my scissors and cut out some a pair of ears. 
Now that we've let it dry for a bit, we're going to add the base, just like that. Maybe we should make it a bit bigger, but that's for you guys to do at home. If it doesn't work, make a bit of a bigger base. Yeah. So we waited for it to dry and it's all dried up. Yeah. As you can see, it's looking good. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a funny bunny. Yeah. So we made a few others, yeah. like this one. I made this, this one. one. Yeah. So they can store pencils and mm -hmm. a lot of other things, like just like rulers and erasers and things that you need for school. Yeah, let's test it out. I'm gonna take some pencils. It works! Yeah, as you can see, I'm gonna put some in this one too. Mm. And this keeps your pencils from going all over because yeah. it's so stable mm. and it's <laughs> Guys, Easter's coming up and I'm so excited. <laughs> and it's my favorite time of the year. We're going to make a simple egg craft. For this activity, you'll need salt, watercolor, pencil, a paintbrush, paper, glue, and a plate. Let's get started. First, you're going to draw your egg on your paper using your pencil. I'm just gonna do a simple design. Me too. And then you can like design your egg inside. I'm just gonna do some lines. Some lines. And there. Yeah, that's fine. I think that's okay. There you go. So now the next thing we're gonna do is take our glue. Mm -hmm. Now we are going to trace the lines that we just made. Yeah. Ooh. Now we're going to add the salt. So, and we're going to put, put it, it all over the glue, glue basically, yeah. I kind of like the sound of the salt dropping <laughs> on the paper. I think that's okay. I think that's enough. So now what we're going to do is grab the paper and remove all the excess salt off the paper. There we are. That. Now we're going to take our paint brushes and choose a watercolour. I'm gonna choose blue first because it's blue. Is that blue or purple? I have no idea. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna do the orange. A little bit. Just a little bit, not too much. Then we're gonna put it on the salt. Slowly spreading. That is blue. Oh, it is blue. Yeah. Then I'm gonna put it on the color. Whoa. It's spreading. Whoa, I see it. It's so kind of cool. So we're gonna continue to do this until our. Um, our whole egg is done yeah. and filled with color, and it'll look very nice. Yeah. And, and this, this is, is the end result. Yeah. You can hang it in your room if you really like it. And it's <laughs> really good for the Easter time since it's an egg. Yeah. Yeah. This experiment was excellent. And exciting. Now you get it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed making this craft with us and I hope you try it at home. We really, really love doing it and if you let it to dry a bit mm -hmm. more, it'll pop, the colors will pop out more and it'll be even more beautiful. Yeah. Make sure you try this at home and tag us at hashtag SummersLab. Hey Stacy. Yes? Oh no, I lost my page. Lucky for you, I keep an Easter themed bookmark in my pocket. <laughs> Whoa, this is so cute. Oh, yeah, and today I'm gonna show you how to make one. Okay, so what do we need? We need paper, glue, white paper strips, and scissors. Let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is take our paper, mm -hmm. and this is very important. These folds, you're gonna have to pay attention because these folds are very, hard to do, mm -hmm. not very hard, but you just need to pay attention. Uh -huh. So fold your paper like this. Then you open it up, right? Yeah. Hold and you fold this other side. Yeah. Fold it up like this. Then you take the corner, fold that up. And Do the same for the other side. Yeah. Then you open then you them up. Fold them. And fold them. This side. Yeah, you fold them down. 
now you're gonna take the fold here and fold it inside. Yeah, inside the big one. And it looks something like this. Yeah. yeah, so now once you have this, now we're going to add the decorations like the eyes and mm -hmm. the ears and the teeth to make the bunny. So you draw eyes yeah, first. Yeah. You have to draw pencil. eyes with your pencil. Now what we're gonna do is take our glue and we're going to put glue on the back of the eye. Yeah. Now I'm going to glue the eye to my to my um, bookmark. Now we're going to cut out the ears. Okay. Here you go. So what you want to do is fold it in half. Like fold it like half. Like yeah, this. like like the long way. Okay. So you should have something like this. Then take it, take it, uh, your scissors mm -hmm. and cut out like a shape of uh, bunny ears. <laughs> now we can take some colors or something and draw so that it kind of looks like a ear. You can put pink or any color. Now we, once we have our glue on our bunny ears, we're going to Glue it to the back of the bookmark. Here. <laughs> Mine kind of looks like a fox. <laughs> now we're going to cut the teeth. So you just cut the paper. Yeah, we're going to stick it to the top push up there. Wow, ours are very different. Yeah. <laughs> Mine kind of looks like a fox. <laughs> okay guys, now that our um, our bookmarks are finished. Yeah. We're gonna show you how it looks on a book. Book, and I'm gonna go say I was reading this page, then I can just slide it in there. There. And we got a little friend at the corner to remind us what page we were on. Yes. And you can also give this to your family or friends because it's such a nice gift and it's so cute. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Seth. Now I'll never forget my page. Yeah, you shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoyed making this craft with us and I hope you try it at home. Yeah, we really liked doing this craft because I read a lot of books and so does Stacy. Mm -hmm. And it, sometimes I lose my pages and then I have to read like all the way through the book over and over until I find the page. Mm -hmm. And it's an inconvenience. So now that we have this very nice little buddy, even I can wear it on my lap coat. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Make sure to try this at home and tag us at hashtag SemmasLab. Stay connected with me on the Super Semma YouTube channel. <laughs> Just click subscribe.